Okay, bear with me with the audio on this because I'm not using my lapel mic, I'm using the built-in camera mic which is always a bit echoey, but here we go, we've got the Vario uh, and this is the Hobby King, what is it, Cloud Surfer and here's my X8R receiver that I'm going to be connecting the Vario up to and all I've got to do, as I say, it's simplicity itself is just plug this in the top into the smart bus connector, there we go and put my receiver back into the well, I'll put that wire behind actually so it's not going to get in the way. Let's put that down the back. Push this into here. Nice fit actually, a really good design. The <laughs> receiver fits nicely in there. And now of course we've got to mount this somewhere inside the fuselage compartment. A couple of rules, try to keep it out of airflow. That is, if you've got an area where you know there's air going to be flowing through the fuselage, don't put the Vario in there because your speed could pressurize that part of the airframe and could give you some false readings so that when you, as you go faster it'll, you'll think it's going up but it may not be going up so you want to put it in an area of relatively stagnant airflow and fortunately with the Cloud Surfer there's no air flowing through this part of the body because it's got a big Perspex dome on the front so that means I can just coil up this wire to keep it out of the way there you go and I'll put some Velcro way up here on the inside which you probably can't see but I'll show you later and I can just stuff this up here, like so. Now, it's tucked out of the way, it's not in the airflow, and that should do the job. Uh, we'll find out when we fly, of course. Okay, now I've got my transmitter set up here. I'm going to go to the telemetry page. I've set up a page which shows our altitude and our rate of climb or descent. But you notice it says we're at 45 meters. In fact, if I throw my switch... 44 meters. 44 meters, that's not right. So we have to zero the telemetry, hold down the enter button on the screen. Telemetry lost. Recovery. Now we're down to zero meters, as you'll see zero if I... Meters. Zero meters. Piece of cake. So I'll turn it to the silent position now and I'll launch the model and we'll fly around I'll describe what's happening as I'm flying. Okay, it's pretty turbulent out there today. Must have run through a bit of lift as we went through that launch. Okay, so there we go. We're now flying at 32 meters. I'm going to turn on the... 43 meters. Oh, there we go. 46 meters. The lady will announce the altitude every 10 seconds, thanks to the way I set up my Tyrannus. 59 meters. So there you go. You see it's actually announcing the altitude as I fly. I'm climbing. I've got power on at the moment. And I'm going to meters. switch it into the silent mode. So then we go right up to the legal limit and so it won't say anything else until we get to the 118 meter level that we're, we've set as our alarm point. So 100 meters now. Meters. There you go, so she told us when we reached 118 meters and if I stay, whoops I'm pretty high now, I better come down a bit. We're going to the Vario mode now. That got way higher than I expected. <laughs> so now I have the Vario on. You can hear the tones. I'm in descent at the moment. So we're still way too high. I'll let it come down a bit. Here we go. There's so much lift up here, it's hard to come down. So you can hear I'm I'm still in lift, I'm going up, that's the problem. This is, I'm going to have to do a bit of a swoop here and get rid of a lot of this altitude. Back to 118 meters, there we go. So now, I'm in sync at the moment. I'll turn around, there's some lift out here. You should hear the tones change as I go back into the lift. I can find it again. We're in sync at the moment. Hold on, there we go. We've leveled out. No. Here we got lift there. Flying out through the edge of it. So though I can't see these changes from the ground, I can hear them through my Vario. See, there's a bit of lift just there. I'll go try to turn the other way because it's quite a small piece of lift. There you go, so I've climbed back up to 180 meters. The prop, the, the motor's been off all that time, 
and I've climbed back up through 118 meters. Now I'm at 123 meters. So again, I've reached. So I've reached the legal maximum again. You can hear the Vario. Just, there's a radio going in the background. You can hear the Vario as I was. So I'm coming back, coming back down through the sink now. More lift here. There you go, more lift. I can feel some wind from the thermal now. I'm going to turn around. So there you go, we're just on the legal limit. Got flies in my ears. I hate this summer out here and the flies. Still got more lift, so I'm climbing. I'm up to 124 again. I'll have to fly, fly out of this lift. It's just too much lift around. I can't actually stay out of the lift. There we go, we're still climbing above the thing. You can hear the Vario intermittent tones telling us we've got lift. 119 meters. There's that lift again, massive piece of lift there. Flying through that. Bit of sink now, a bit more lift. Now we're in some sink. That's some pretty consistent sink. Around the, every thermal, of course, you've got an area of sink. Now, see, so we've lost a bit of height. We're down to 106 meters now. I think it's. I think it's telling lies. <laughs> Sometimes you get these anomalous readings, but fortunately they're few and far between, and you can tell it wasn't a thousand meters. So now I'm down to 85 meters. I'll go back and see if I can find some lift and go back up again. Well, there's a bit of turbulence there as well. So let's turn into that, see if we can get some lift out of it. Here, the lift there, there's an amazing amount of lift just there. So we were down to 86 meters, back up to 94, 99 meters. We're back up to the legal limit in no time. We're back up to 112. All this time, there we go, we've gone back up to 118 meters. All that time, we haven't used any motor of course, we're just gliding, so the Vero is telling us exactly when we're in the lift. So we'll fly out of that, hopefully, because we reached our ceiling. That's our maximum ceiling, so we're going down. You can hear the tone. The continuous tone means we're descending. Intermittent tone means we're ascending. So we're going down. We've got out of the thermal. Oh, flying back into it. <laughs> so we're down, down to 93 meters. And hit some lift back up to 96. So the Vario just lets you find the lift. Because a lot of the time you couldn't see that from this far away. Because we're quite a way away. Just lets you hunt out the lift. The, the thermals are, are easy to listen to. There we go. A bit more lift there. So it makes it's a bit cheating really when you want to fly thermaling like this. But when you want to fly FPV, of course you can't see the model. So the, the Vario is really useful. Yeah, we're losing. We're down to 88 meters now. You can hear we've got a lot of sink. I can feel a bit of wind, which means the thermal that we're in has passed through. I'll do a video on thermaling and things to watch. We're really sinking now. We're down to 54 meters. We're probably going to have to use power to go around because we're all in deep, deep sink now. Down to 33 meters. It's a little bit of lift there. See if we can capture that lift and probably too low to get that because near the ground the lift tends to be much weaker than up high. No, we're not going to get away with that. That's not high enough. Okay, we're coming for a landing. So I'll turn the Vero off. Don't need that for landing. Put some power on. Come around and do a landing.
so you can also hear a full-size plane coming. Perfect time to land. Oh, coming in a bit hot. I think we'll go around again. Let's go around again. The glider ratio of this thing is quite deceptive. It's actually a really good glider. So and now it's perfectly calm, so it's very easy to overshoot. So put on a bit of flat now. Slow the, slow this down. And we've got lift over there. <laughs> it's just the way, isn't it? You want to land, you hit a big patch of lift. Here we go. Got full flap on now, so we'll... Oh, and another big patch of lift. Look at that. Whoop, run a bit short. Never mind, there we go.